Hey everybody, so I recently overhauled my art space and I'm not 100% but I'm about 95% done and I thought that I would give you a little tour and uh, show you some of the things that I do in a small space. This is all I have for space right here. Um, the room is shared. It is a playroom and my daughter's bedroom. So I condensed everything so that I can try and get my other daughter in here for, uh, so she could sleep in here too until we are finished with the bedrooms upstairs. All right. Um, I will start over here. The rolls are self-explanatory. They are rolls. They fit against a wall and a shelf. That works out perfect. Um, to utilize the full shelf. I also put, this is all my card stock, and this down here is uh, smaller than full sheets and folded pages. So folded pages that are ready to go. I have those steno notepads. I love those. Um, this is some station, I have, you know, stationery in here that's pink. I have yellow, I have, you know, dyed stuff, a bunch of stuff. This top, area is my magazine stuff, my fussy cuts, and my glue books. Um, this is my collection of stuff that needs to be fussy cut. This is a binder that is full of junk. Um, I use sheet protectors and I put a whole bunch of things in there. I put happy mail, I put packaging, I put things I want to just glue to something. I put it in here. This is more stuff that needs to be cut up. And the top one, those are my words, these are uh, there's also baskets in there. These are uh, my fussy cut, ready to go, organized images. And behind this basket, I have a big bag of rice <laughs> because I'm using it to weigh down books or papers when I need to. Okay. Uh, this shelf here, these are journaling cards and things. This is some time cards that I just got from Amy over at uh, Darkwood Sanctuary. Those are larger cards and stationary pieces and, uh, you know, cards from games and sets and things like that. These are all things that can use some altering. Uh, index cards, guest checks, library cards, a whole bunch of tags, uh, six by six scrapbook paper, little grid paper, um, tea dyed, coffee dyed greeting cards, all that stuff. This is all of my smaller than scrapbook paper. Um, I have put some other things on top here that I'm going to be using shortly in projects. And I have all my dyed papers down here that are crumply so that they would flatten out <laughs> a little more. Um, this here was a big disappointment. Look at how pretty this is. Look at that, I bought this at a thrift store. It was 99 cents. I was like, oh, that's a cool roll of paper, right? I didn't read it, I didn't look at it. So I open it up. It's a freaking lint roller, you know? Oh, <laughs> my luck. Um, these are more papers that I'm gonna be using soon. Uh, again, from Amy at Darkwood Sanctuary. And this is a pad of engineering grid paper and I didn't have anywhere else to put it. I have no more room over here. Um, so this comes from a design house design book and there's a bunch of pages like this so I'm going to use that in journals. Um, this is a book of quotes and inspirational things that I would like to use as pages. I have this pad here of uh, music paper, blank music paper and these are I have some paper that have big K's on it, and I have some invoice paper from a company that closed. All of my scrapbook paper is in here. I have it organized by what works for me. So you'll see solid color, colorful cardstock, watercolor, black and white design, black and white cardstock. Then textures, miscellaneous, floral and plants, miscellaneous designs, colored and wood, and then I have a whole book of scrapbook paper about America. 
Uh, this is vintage. I had a whole bunch of yellows, but I used those in my yellow journal that I made last year. And then I have double-sided, single-sided, and cardstock um, vintage stuff. And I have a little bit of Christmas stuff at the bottom. These are papers that will be used in upcoming projects. Uh, just the, the bulk stuff. So, you know, I have these little, I had little vintage composition books that I got. This is all graph paper, um, you know, good graph paper. I have all different kinds of ledger paper, um, you know, newer style ledger paper. Um, teacher record keeping books, a bunch of yellow, uh, you know, divider pages with the tabs still on it. A ton of colorful stuff, including music pages and, you know, all different kinds of book pages that I dyed. Uh, eight and a half by 11 scrapbook paper and uh, another scrapbook paper made out of like a craft paper. This is another, you know, newer ledger that I just left the whole book in because I rip it out at the signature and use the whole folio so that the paper is facing the right way. Um, this is a ward paper. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I got it. Um, more composition books that I haven't taken apart. Um, another ledger. These are onion skin papers and uh, map pieces, a ton, ton of music right here, you know, books, music books, um, penmanship paper, uh, you know, music, 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 and then dyed music pages. And then this is a book of uh, Vera Bradley wrapping paper. And then these were ones that wouldn't fit in this box. And then this is my mixed media paper that I got from Hobby Lobby and another little book of things, quotes that I would like to use as pages. Um, down here, those two baskets there are things I can do something with, including paint chips and stuff. And then behind it are a bunch of books to be harvested, um, you know, art books, home decorating books, and the like. Those two baskets right there, where's my hand, where's my hand, this and this, those two are scraps, <coughs> excuse me, are scraps to be used in collage. This box, sorry, I, I threw these on top because these were clusters that I made that I just need to rip off of there. I think I'm going to sew on them first. This is box of book pages, all different vintages, all different styles. There's game books, there's chess books, there's textbooks, there's, uh, you know, almanacs are some of my favorite things to collage with. There is dictionaries, there's thesauruses, there's uh, music pages. There's all kinds of stuff that I like to collage with. And the rest of that are these piles here. So I kind of have a problem with uh, paper. These are all my pockets and envelopes. This whole box here is pockets and envelopes. I have got to use some pockets and envelopes before I make any more. I have my whole collection of collaged file folders here. Um, some of them aren't file folders but they are made into very thick um, and heavy paper because I layered up book pages. Uh, this drawer here are my strings and fibers. This drawer here is my lace. Oh, I also put all my ribbon. I condensed my ribbon and put it in there. Uh, this here is my lace and a lot of my trim. And we'll move over. Um, my cart. I haven't gotten my cart 100% yet. This is the stuff that I use regularly, my tools, my tapes, my big bite, uh, markers, pens, paintbrushes, scissors, corner chompers, paint cups, rubber bands, sandpaper, glues. Um, this is a whole bunch of jute. I don't know if, if I'm going to leave that there. Baker's twine. I have both of these are tapes, including washi. And the bottom two I'm still working on. Um, I just bought these baskets today if you have the cart that has this rack those little baskets that are you know six pieces or whatever and they all come in one big basket they actually came in uh, that basket there um, they work perfect on this they fit perfectly uh, so I'm still working on the bottom two I know for a fact I got all my glue sticks in there my gel pens my crappy uh, you know dollar store um, duct tape and then on the bottom, I have the composition books I need to um, I need to alter 
and I will roll this around. That side, um, this side, that's one of my staplers that I for some reason collect. Though that bag there is all of my altered paper clips, a couple rags. Uh, these two books are my napkin books. I keep all my napkins in there. And then behind it is that is the other basket to the set. And in there I have a bag of napkins, a bag of laces and fibers for quick grab, and then a bag of scraps of fabrics and laces. Um, this shoe thing is great. It's canvas, but it is not practical because I cannot see what's in it, so I cannot... And I don't remember. The only thing I remember is that I keep my sealers and my glues up here for the most part. Um, other than that, I am constantly searching for things. Um, that's it. That my, this is, I just got all of those pins today. So I filled my pin cushion and now uh, let me grab it. It looks like coronavirus. So this is my coronavirus pin cushion. These are a bunch of die cuts I made with a die that I had gotten from Shelly over at Crafting Mama's. They are little takeout containers. So I made them with um, painty papers, a Chinese food one. And then this reminds me of like a donut. So this whole basket, if you are looking for one, if for something like this, just let me know because this whole basket is full of them. I put my two sticker books there because I use them. I go for them a lot. Under it in this container here, this is an envelope I have started for uh, happy mail for someone. I have all my pads and then these are all my inks. All of them fit in there. Fantastic. So that's just the way it is. I cannot buy any more ink. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much all that's going to fit in there. So it works out for me. I tucked a couple random things here um, that I reach for. Ink. These I bought today. Gems. Um, you never know when you might need to mix up some paint. And then, you know, a few things, a few envelopes and colored pencils and stuff. Um, this top part here, I'm still filling this stuff in. Those two boxes are my metal things, including my eyelets and my book corners and uh, bulb pins. And those are just miscellaneous metal pieces. So far, I have... Uh, you know, pens and, and things just mixed in there. Some of the makeup stuff that I like to use, uh, I put in there. And I just put a whole bunch of corks in that drawer. And then these are like just mishmash playing cards, those little composition books, random pieces, another stapler. Uh, those are my clusters right there. This is a whole thing of makeup and there's colored pencils. And then these are the tools that I grab for. My cutter, little cutting sets. I have a... Um, and this is a Pampered Chef cutting mat, and I like it because it, the back of it is stick, you know, it, it sticks it to the surface. So I use that. That's my, uh, you know, the thing that makes a crease, that thing. Those are pages that I'm working with, and this stencil I like to use, and it doesn't fit in any of my binders, so it's just staying there. This is stuff I got a fussy cut. This is an organizer box. For some reason, I found a couple of them in the last couple months, so I'm using that when I'm working on things that have little stuff. And, uh... I put a bunch of stuff in binders and let me tell you what I did wrong. These two have four inch spines. Okay. I said, Oh, I'm going to go with these giant binders to get them everything in one. And I did with the stamps like everybody does where they laminate paper, you stamp the image on it and then you put the stamp on there. So you know what you have. I did that for a whole bunch of my stamps and it works out great. And my stencils, they're all in sheet, everything's in sheet protectors. It's working out great, but the binders are huge. They are huge to grab. They are huge to uh, work out of. If you have a limited space with a project you're working on, they take up a lot of room to get stuff out of. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Um, both, uh, these were in a larger one too, but because they were magazine images and they, and the, Sheet protectors were full of stuff. I, they, it was very heavy and the sheet protectors weren't happy and the binder wasn't happy. So I just put it into two smaller ones. And then this one here is all images from books that I have sorted by the book. This box is one of those photo boxes and I put a ton of 
die cuts organized. Um, oh my god, see that little fly? <laughs> Get out of here. Um, small fussy cut pieces, just miscellaneous embellishments and ephemera to use. I'm kind of keeping my projects that I have going over here. Um, so there's a couple things I have stacked up and a couple things I'm going to quit. A couple things I got to put away. This is for my live sale tomorrow. And so is that box there. That's all my napkin poop. And on top is my baby wipes. I use that stuff all the time. My sewing machine used to be back here in this corner. But because I'm using it so much, I don't want to keep reaching for it. So I put my Elmer's glue gallon back there. And then my sewing stuff that I will use. And I'll just grab it with the machine. Markers and pens, markers and pens, markers and pens, and empty bottles <laughs> and random things. I also have watercolors in there. I have, uh, you know, pencil sets. I have some sandpaper stuff down there. That's just a big mess. On top of it is still a mess. That's a basket that's full of junk to be glued into stuff. I have a book of fabric here. And I have magazines that need to be harvested. And then that is the rest of my magazine pile that needs to be harvested. Those are stamps for the jelly plate and my larger paint bottles and things. Okay. Those are all my craft paints in that drawer. And that drawer is my jelly plate and all the texture pieces that I use with it. I'm sorry, jelly plates. I put my store-bought one. I put my handmade ones in there. And I put all things jelly plate in that drawer. So those two drawers are my artsy fartsy things. I hate this plastic thing. Uh, if I could make a suggestion to anybody that is crafting, go and get yourself wooden nightstands because this plastic stuff starts to warp. Even if you don't put anything on top of them, they warp, they're crappy. Those two bottom drawers, they don't like to close. I really have to shove them. This one here, it's like really, uh, you know. Oh, that's my big cutter right there too. Big Bertha there. So we'll go through these. This is just stuff that I use. Uh, these are my suckers. Um, I usually have to have something in my mouth because if not, I tense, I tense up my jaw and then it causes pain. I have my acrylic blocks in here. I have another slider bar for my trimmer. Long arm stapler. Um, and all my die cutting plates and stuff. And I use these little letter stamps a lot. So those are in there. And uh, I use my cardboard corrugation stamp a lot. So that's there. And I have all my post-its there because I'm going to need them this weekend. These are all the stamps I don't have mounted and the stamps that I'm, I'm going to be using frequently. Like these, this stuff I use frequently, background stamps that I use frequently. Um, I have some that are in that binder to put in here and some to put into that binder. Um, I organized all of my ephemera pieces by what they are. So, ugh, move the box. These are my smalls, itty bitties, okay? Like these are what I put on clusters to cover up the staple. All cloth flowers okay these are my medium smalls just uh, you know that that is a little uh, container of things that I have picked up off the floor those are all my stickers this is a whole box of medium sized things that don't fit in these little containers these are a whole bunch of scallop um, ovals that are embossed and die cut and I went crazy with that die because it's a big sty. These are all labels that I use. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna put the cloth flowers on the bottom because those I don't reach for as much. Okay, and then the bottom drawer is not full and it's all things ready to go, ready to use, ready to play with, to add into pockets and tucks and stuff, including playing cards, uh, you know, random pages, random pieces of ephemera. That's just random ephemera. More will be added to that as I as I work on things. Okay. This side. That is something that's being go that's going to defy. Those are the rest of my watercolors. This is one of those drawer bins. I tipped it up 
that is all the stuff that I use to dye paper. I have it there tucked away because I don't do that often. It's my Smyrograph back there. And that's a pizza box. That's what I used to spray in. This is all my packaging. Envelopes, my mailers are down there. My tags, all, all my stuff to mail, mailing. I bought this recently and I had it on the door with my punches in it, but it was too heavy. So I have filled it with random things. Um, I didn't do the bottom though, because as you can see, it's on the floor. So I'm going to tack that up behind it so it doesn't look sloppy. Uh, random things. I like the phone boxes from cell phones. So I fill them with stuff. That one's filled with little quotes from books. This one down here, uh, you know, index cards and iCads and that I put big fake flowers in. So, you know, it's all just mishmash. Texture paper, background pages, that Amazon craft paper packaging, wax paper that has paint on it, tissue paper, all that is in there. This orange thing is stuff that's going out into my storage that I have just been tucking in there. And then I will fold it up and it'll go out. Painty papers in my muffin box. This is my bag of slow stitch stuff for the house. Those are all of my bird and plant stuff that needs to be fussy cut. Reader's Digest picture pages. This is a box that I have hanging files in and I have all of this stuff listed. Uh, face stickers, doilies, calendars, tracing templates, and theme journals, theme journal packs that I put into Ziploc bags. All die cutting right there, including uh, those are those hardback that comes from this, the vintage notepads. I like those for, for book plates. Uh, bead stuff, metal pieces, broken jewelry pieces, mixed media pieces there. All books and projects that I'm working on. That whole side right there is all my composition books. Glue books, art journals, <laughs> it's crazy. Except these books here are um, my hand stitching books that I look at for inspiration. And these are two books for a class that I have been pondering in my brain to start. So uh, I, I, I'm gonna use some of the ideas in those, those books. Beads, 12 by 12 beads that I have not organized yet. Paper beads. Uh, the cigar box right there. Oh, I'm sorry. These are bottle caps in that white thing. The cigar box. What the hell did I just put in there? I don't know. I put something in there. It might be my uh, paper clip beads. Mixed uh, chain and wire and beads. That bottom one there are all of my inks um, I put in there. These are beads, round beads that need to be organized. Uh, Woohoo! beads and bead related things. I love the fishing tackle boxes for beads. I mean, this is like, I have storage up here and these are so, so, so easy. So easy to get to, you know, you lift that. I'm sorry. I can't even lift that up right now because I have that big tub on there, but this here, um, you know, drops down so you can access every section in independently which is what I like because I can put that up there and just pull that off if I got to get in there. And then two of these side pouches, I can get in. These side pouches, I can get in. This is the same way, this one here, except it's on the other side. This is filled with vintage pictures that I'm going to scan and turn into digital kits. All of my border and corner punches, big giant jar of buttons. Those are my small punches and underneath it are all of my large punches. Those are envelopes of things that I have gotten that I still have to sort and put someplace. These are packets of stuff that I have to take pictures of and list on my Etsy. Reader's Digest covers that I have to take pictures of and list on my Etsy. That is a big giant project that I am working on for uh, out of encyclopedias. <laughs> so that is what how far I've gotten with fussy cutting encyclopedia pages. And those are all Reader's Digest book blocks that have to be gone through. I will keep some of them to make into envelopes. So that is the gist of my space in, a cr in cramped quarters. Um, oh, and this is the, my current project that I'm working on. 
these are going to be my retro um, journals. So I like using these baskets for that. And then, you know, I have these two baskets here that I just emptied that I will put other projects in. So it'll work out nicely. And then I'll probably stack up my projects behind here so that I can get at, at them easy, but they are out of the way. This black shelf used to be on this wall. So I was able to really condense stuff. I had stuff up against this wall, pretty much up to the door. So I was able to really condense things and um, get it all to fit in a smaller footprint. Um, and it does work. It does work for me. I'm excited because I put all of the things that I need to be more productive in front of me rather than scattered um, across this space. So I don't have to actually get up all that much when I'm working on something. Um, oh, <laughs> more things. I just bought that today. That I, is a whole bunch of wire, uh, 26 gauge beading wire. Those are both made, those are both beaded things that I made out of dyes. And I think that that's everything there. Uh, there's one of my little driftwood pieces that is going to be a gift for somebody that uh, I am going to mail to her once I get a, a string on there to hang it with. So let me show you all the things I just took out of here. Um, this is where I stack up all my stuff that's about to go out to storage. So here's a couple things. Organizer boxes and a shelf piece. And then the rest of it I brought outside. Uh, those are Reader's Digest that I have to go through. That's the two things of trash. These were organizer pieces that I have eliminated by getting that photo box. Um, so I have eliminated most of that. And then, except for that crate, which is National, Ge National Geographic pages, all of this stuff just came out of there and is going to go into storage, which is in my ice cream truck right there. My whole business is run out of that truck right there. All my stuff is stored there. So all that will be going out in the morning while I grab other things to sell in my live sale. And the kids part of the bedroom, this is the package I was waiting for the kids part of the bedroom. Uh, this is filled with, it, there are six under the bed totes. So it'll be nice because Sunday I can put things from Lily's bedroom in here and put them under her bed um, and that is going to free up a ton of space because she has a purple plastic drawer organizer and um, here we'll look at the farm while we talk um, she has a plastic drawer organizer and the kids have a very hard time opening and closing the drawers this is my truck by the way I love my truck his name is Bruce 337, 338,000 miles on it as of today that I, I drove it, but uh, the transmission's getting a little slimy, so, you know, but I, I love my truck. I've had it for 11 years, and I just love it. Those are grapevines. Um, but yeah, so I can eliminate that purple plastic drawer thing, and like I have said before, if you can, oh, there's the baby floof, and there's the mama right there. Um, that's my chicken coop over there. If you can, stay away from those big plastic uh, drawer things. I, I'm going to pick up some nightstands the next time I go to Salvation Army or any thrift store that has them for less than $50 a piece. And I will, uh, I will change out the plastic drawer thing because it is just, the, they just warp so easy and I hate it. There's all of our tomatoes and our pepper plants started. Some of them are a little mad. But, you know, some of them are going. So, I want to thank you all. I'm sorry if I made you dizzy. My neighbor's horse is over there. But, uh, I hope that some of the stuff I said was helpful. And I love you all. Ta-ta for now.